Hello, darling friends. Today, I'm going to accomplish this makeup look. My eyes will be done and my eyebrows will be done, but then we're gonna go in and we're gonna do the whole face thing because we're doing watercolor foundation that Wayne Goss taught this method. And I'm so excited about it because in his video, he was saying, if you have dry skin, you might not like it. Well, I kind of found a way around that uh, with the prep of your skin and making sure your skin is super hydrated, but it looks gorgeous. I am absolutely in love with this look for foundation. I hope that you will enjoy it too. Before we get started, if you're new to my channel, I want to say a special welcome to you. And I would love it if you would subscribe, if everybody would hit the like button, that would help me out too. The algorithm likes it when you like me. And I hope that you will do that for me. Also, before we get started, I always like to tell you what I have on for a shirt. So I'll show you a little picture of that right now. I don't have any jewelry on because this was a tutorial video. And when I'm doing foundation, I don't like to wear earrings or a necklace because I'm always going all over these places a little bit crazy and I get them all dirty. So nothing on there, but um, hope that you do enjoy the video and that's the shirt that I have on. So let's get into you learning how I do the watercolor technique from Wayne Goss and I hope that you really enjoy it on your mature skin. Okay, I'm going to put a little gloss on to get me started through this. This is from Essence. It's called What the Fake just like my lips to kind of be marinating in a lot of hydration before I get started. Also starting off with the NYX Marshmallow Primer, one of my favorites. If you've been with me for very long, let's do one pump on there. And I'm going to put that in the areas where I have a lot of texture and large pores. And when it's summer, get some break apart through here. So that helps all of those things and just pushing that in whatever is left, we'll put all over the rest. So I discovered this technique through watching Wayne Goss do this one day, but he said that it wasn't great for somebody that had dry skin. And as I was watching it, I'm thinking that just can't be the case because it looked like it was perfect for mature skin because of how thin it was going on and how you were buffing a lot. And I just thought, I have to try this. So my recommendation to you is go ahead and really prep your skin well. I use a pretty heavy moisturizing cream in the morning because I do have very dry skin. I use some um, essences. Just get your skin really plumped, really prepped, and I think that you're going to love this a lot. Plus, we're gonna do one extra step that he didn't do. When I do any sort of foundation or any sort of makeup, I spray my sponges or I spray my brushes with a primer spray. And my favorite has been for years, Max Fix Plus. This is the OG, it's been around forever. I love it. And I just give it a good spray on the brush, right down the middle. And then I'm gonna kind of, you know, wiggle it into there to do the same thing that he did. Now, I'll show you what Wayne did. So I'm gonna be using this new Ulta Beauty Collection Complexion Crush medium coverage foundation. So we're going to put a little bit, we're not doing a lot, I mean a tiny bit, like this would probably be a pump, maybe a half a pump if you were doing it with another foundation. Now take your brush, make sure you put that in the palm of your hand, take your brush and you are going to work your foundation into your hand. You're going to work it into that brush until it is loaded and you want to really buff even on your hand. The good thing about your palm is it's not gonna soak up a bunch of the foundation. And so once you have that worked in really, really well, then you're going to just buff this across. And I mean, you're going to really use broad strokes. We're not using little round strokes. We're buffing this in like crazy. We're just putting it everywhere to get it all over the face with that little tiny amount. And that is where the magic begins to happen. Now, you might have places on your face that have a ton of discoloration. My neck and my decollete, they have a ton of discoloration. But even starting this first coat and buffing it in, you're gonna be able to see how pretty this is. Keep buffing, keep buffing, until you feel like that brush is exhausted with product. You're just wanting to go over, 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 
and do it a ton. Now I'm hoping that you can see this on camera how that one coat of doing this just made my skin look even, how it just made it look like skin still poking through. There are certain places like right here, I'm going to, you know, do a little bit of extra touch up, but it really does give this flawless airbrushed finish because the whole time you have this dense brush and you're pushing it into those pores and you're also buffing so that everything looks like it's brushed out. It's just a beautiful way to do foundation and it's quick. That's the other thing I like about it. So again, I'm gonna do the second coat now. You don't have to do a second coat. If you're somebody that loves that skin tint finish, stop right here because your skin's gonna be still sh showing through. If you wanted to add your concealer, which I'm going to, add your concealer, go on in and, you know, just stop right there after you powder and put on your blush or whatever. I'm going to do one more droplet of that. And then I'm going to, again, work it into your hand, work it into the brush, deep into the brush so that the brush is getting most of it. The other fun thing about the, doing it this way is that primer spray that I just used is key because it's thinning out the foundation so that even if your thickest foundation that you absolutely are not liking anymore because you want that thin skin tint look, this is still giving you the perfect coverage of a heavier foundation without it being so heavy. So I'm gonna concentrate right here on these parts right here where I have so much discoloration and that's where I'm gonna do the most buffing. I might have to do a little bit of touch up with my concealer, that's okay. But this second coat is gonna give flawless, absolutely flawless look to your skin. And thin, super thin coats, and that is where the magic is, is that we've done super, super thin coats, even decollete and chest and neck. Oh my goodness, it just works out to be so even. Can you see how even that looks on my chest and my neck? Now, here's another tip about your brush. If you have those areas like I have right here where the redness is poking through, just stipple right there in the area in small circles. You're gonna still have enough on your brush to be able to deposit enough to give that an airbrushed look, but it goes away. Can you believe how beautiful this is? This is just such a easy, fun, quick way to be able to put on your foundation for a mature woman, for a dry skin person. I love this. I've also been using the serum concealer from Ulta. This is new out and I'm going to just put one dot there and one dot there. Well, kind of dot. Let's just put a little bit on. I just want to make sure I've got enough on there. By the way, I should have told you this dense brush is from BK Beauty. This is the 105 brush. It is her foundation brush. Now this one is the medium 109 brush of the foundation and I'm going to just stipple this across but I'm not going to blend it in. I'm just going to spread it and we'll let it set there for a minute. While I'm letting that set up I'm going to do the bottom of my eyes or that lash line on the bottom with the liner. Today I use that new Tartlet palette that's called Reflections and I don't know if you've had a chance to see this or not but it's so nice. It is just a beautiful palette and I'm going to go into a very sparkly, not sparkly, metallic color that I did use on my eyes and I'm going to just give it a little bit of definition right here on the outside. Little bit of a smoky eye, very pretty on that. And then I'm going to use this NYX contour brush and the Charlotte Tilbury. This is her Sunkissed Glow Bronzer. It is the cream one. And I believe I have mine in the lightest color and I'm just going to bronze up my face just a bit, bring some color in. And now I will buff that in the rest of the way on the concealer. So pretty, love this look because this brush does all the work for you. Now I'm taking the Skin Lights Highlighter from Revlon, remember this one? I really like it, it's a pretty highlighter and it's got a beautiful beam on it. So just gonna put it right there on the high points of my cheeks and a little bit right there on the Cupid's bow. ColourPop just released their lip and cheek products. I got a bunch of them. This one is called Second Date. I appreciate ColourPop sending me these and I can't wait to try them. So I am using the BK Beauty 
oh gosh, I don't remember what this is. It's going to go up on the screen because I'm trying to get through this. So I'm just going to put this on the cheeks right here up towards the eye. I love this new look that Jen Phelps got from that creator. Actually, she's not a creator. She's a makeup artist that developed RMS. Beautiful, beautiful lady and just love her. Her techniques so pretty so loving this very easy to do look how pretty that is that blush Wow that's so pretty and you know what since this is a lip and cheek product I think I'm gonna just tap some on my lips now I don't want to forget to powder this otherwise because it is so hot right now everything's gonna melt off this is the new powder from Ulta Beauty also their um, collection finishing powder. I am so impressed with this new stuff that's coming from them. I am going to use the Beauty Blender Puff, which I am enamored with. Have loved this thing for such a long time. And I'm going to take down some of this shine and set underneath those eyes. Love this powder for a finishing powder, but boy does it take down the shine and it really really blurs out so that is going to keep my under eyes set for the whole day and then i'm going to go in underneath my eyes and put a little mascara on the mascara that i chose today is from wet n wild called so defined really like this one i was watching sabrina and she was using this one if you guys don't watch her oh my gosh she is just the most down to earth gorgeous woman she's got three kids and She's, you know, in her 30s, I believe, but she's just so down to earth and just so sweet. I love her. So I love this look. I love the way that the foundation turned out, but I am going to use this lip gloss from Fenty Beauty that I got while Sephora was doing their sponsorship with me, which I still can't believe, pinch, pinch myself about that. Such a super duper easy way to do your foundation. And if you are somebody that's always in a hurry or you're somebody that your foundation you feel like just gets modeled, doesn't look right, please try this. Primer with a little bit of the spray on your brush, tiny bit of foundation goes a long way. Buff that into that brush like crazy and then buff it all over your face like crazy. And I swear, you will feel like your skin is airbrushed. This is a watercolor. He called it watercolor, so that's why I called it that. It just feels beautiful on your skin and it looks beautiful on your skin. And when I was having so many issues with having foundation kind of breaking apart and looking really junky on me because of my age, this one just looks so pretty. So hope that you did enjoy this. Please give it a thumbs up on your way out of here. Have you tried this from Wayne Goss when you saw him do that? I love it. So I hope you do too. Let me know that down in the comments section. I would love to get a discussion going with you all. Please take care of yourselves. Stay happy, stay healthy, and please come back and see me in my next video. Love to you all. Goodbye, my friends.